Good evening, everyone. Update on the sanitary of the Bailey Hill build. We are almost complete. We have the uh, toilet and the half bath left, the floor drain in the mechanical room, some sink work for the laundry and the half bath sink and the master sink, but all is going well. We're shooting for a quarter inch per foot slope. Sometimes we have 3 16 in some areas, but mostly it is quarter inch a foot. The key is not to have valleys in your sanitary. Everything's moving in one direction. This here is going out towards the septic tank, which is going to be out in the lawn about 10 feet from the foundation. And uh, yeah, it's going good. So a couple tips. We started at the end and worked our way down. I dug, if you're doing an Alaskan slab, I dug the mains out where the clay is because we're going to be deeper than six inches. Remember, six inches of stone is what we put on the rock slash clay layer. So you don't want to dig rock and clay out by hand. It's an awful thing to try to do. So I dug it out with the bobcat all the way down through. And then I dug this main here all the way back. And filled it with clean stone. So I used a little bit more stone, but it was worth it. Now, something I would do differently next time is I would not get round stone. Um, I would get uh, crushed stone if you can get it. I mean, it was eight bucks a ton for rounds for us in this area. Um, I think uh, I quoted it at a couple spots. It was like 16 or 17 bucks a ton uh, for the crushed. Crushed wood, after you tamp it, would lock in a little bit better. Um, and it'd be, once you hand dug all of your um, sanitary lines, it would be a, much easier to keep them clean and consistent. Um, constantly when I'm digging these, the, the stones are falling back in and it's kind of a pain in the butt. You gotta dig it, put your pipe in there, get it where you want it, and then glue it and you have another person that can stand on one side and you can push from the other. Very important that you get these all the way in and that you don't get your fittings dirty. Keep your glue and your primer out of the dirt. It will not hold. And hold everything together for 20, 30 seconds if you can. Um, it takes a little bit for the glue to set up. If you don't, it'll pop right back out on you. Had it happen to me. So, we're gonna have some leftover PVC, um, so that'll be good. I got $700 in PVC and fittings. Um, 750, so that's not too bad to plumb the sanitary of the house. Um, yeah, that's about it. I don't think there's anything else to show you folks. So thanks for watching. Please uh, like and subscribe, and there'll be more videos I'll show a video when we're all done of all the plumbing and all the sink uh, stub ups coming up out. Um, actually, there is one more thing I wanted to say. I used string line and extra concrete stakes, and I found the exact dimensions uh, where my toilets are coming up out of the floor and all my every every other utility where it's in a wall cavity. You have to be right on the money, otherwise your walls are going to be shifting and it's going to cause a lot of problems. So I measured off the form, and that's on my uh, slab utility plan like I showed on the foundation video. I measured out and I pulled a string line and I made sure it was square. And uh, that's what we dig to. I keep these right in place. It is a little bit of a pain in the butt, but using paint is a problem because once you dig the top layer of stone off, you lost your mark. So I like these these string lines. They work pretty good. You just got to be careful where you're stepping. So that is one thing that has been very helpful and I would recommend doing. So uh, thanks for watching again and please like and subscribe to the channel. Hopefully this helps people. That's our goal here is to help everyone. Um, if you've never done this stuff before, you don't do it for a living. You can do it. It's not that hard. It's a little bit of elbow grease and some thinking and a lot of planning. That's mainly what you need to think about is just plan it, write it down, and you can do it. So thanks again.
Have a good night.